Welcome to Wild World News. Well, let me start off and say a few of you actually asked me to react to this speech that Caitlyn Jenner um, gave for the SB Award. And I decided to do it because I got your messages a few days ago, but I decided to do it. I didn't know if I wanted to do it, but I decided to do it today because I'm, I'm actually pretty familiar with this situation. I know someone who has someone in their family who actually uh, is either in the process or has fully become transgender. It was a man, said he wanted to become a woman, said he's always felt like he was a woman and you know, so on and so forth. So I said, you know what, let me, let me check this out because I'm familiar with it. I know that a lot of people don't understand it but I have a little understanding on it. So just let me let me see this. Because I know there's a big uproar. Or I saw it online on Facebook when they were like, ah, he shouldn't have got it. What the fuck? Yeah, this and that. So it, just let me, let me see this. Ladies and gentlemen, the courageous, the stunning, Caitlyn Jenner. I guess she led me. I think so. <laughs> I got to tell y'all something. By the way, Caitlyn Jenner looks like somebody that I know. I swear to God. And there were a couple pictures I saw, I was going to say him, her in, and I was like, wow, that looks like such and such. Holy shit. And I really, I went to her Facebook page, and I was looking at him, I mean her, and I was like, holy shit, they look alike. All right, let's hear this. Wow, I have to talk after that? I thought he was going to use so a much. female voice. It is so wonderful to be here tonight. Holy shit. Now, the last few months have been a whirlwind of so many different experiences and emotions. Oh, does it throw me off? But to tell you the truth, it seems like every time I turn around in life, I'm putting myself in these high pressure situations, competing in the games, raising a family, but I've never felt more pressure than I ever have felt in my life. And over the last couple of months, I'm sorry. I'm out this outfit. Okay, girls, I get it. I it's just throwing me off because the whole process it was exhausting and next the fashion police oh, please be kind on me i'm new at this but anyway because i've I seen certain things on transgender soccer team that they have absolutely and the men always change their voices to sound more like women this is the first time I've ever seen a transgender before, just a few weeks ago, using ago, his male voice anybody else or her male voice. Was like me. I had never met a trans person, never. As you saw, I dealt with my situation on my own, in private. And that turned this journey into an already incredible education. It's been eye-opening, inspiring, but also frightening. Or Kanye. Across this country right now, all across the world, at this very moment, there are young people coming to terms with being transgender. They're learning that they're different, and they're trying to figure out how to handle that on top of every other problem that a teenager has. They're getting bullied. They're getting beaten up. They're getting murdered. And they're committing suicide. The numbers that you just heard before are staggering. But they are the reality of what it's like to be trans today. Just last month, the body of 17-year-old Mercedes Williamson, a transgender young woman of color, was found 
in a field in Mississippi, stabbed to death. I also want to tell you about Sam Cobb, a 15-year-old transgender young man from Bloomfield, Michigan. In early April, Sam took his own life. Now, Sam's story haunts me in particular because his death came just a few days before <coughs> ABC aired my interview with Diana Sawyer. I saw some of that. I didn't get a chance to Every time something like this happens, people wonder, could it have been different if spotlighting this issue with more attention could have changed the way things happen? We'll never know. If there's one thing I do know about my life, it is the power of the spotlight. Sometimes it gets overwhelming, but with attention comes responsibility. As a group, as athletes, how you conduct your lives, what you say, what you do, is absorbed and observed by millions of people, especially young people. I know I'm clear with my responsibility in going forward to tell my story the right way, for me, to keep learning, to do whatever I can to reshape the landscape of how trans issues are viewed, how trans people are treated, and then more broadly, to promote a very simple idea, accepting people for who they are, accepting people's differences. Still throwing me off listening to this male voice. My plea to you tonight is to join me in making this one of your issues as well. How do we start? We start with education. I was fortunate enough to meet Arthur Ashe a few times, and I know how important education was to him. Learn as much as you can about another person to understand them better. I know the people in this room have respect for hard work for training, for going through something difficult to achieve the outcome that you desire. Well, he chilling on. I trained hard. I competed hard. And for that, people respected me. But this transition has been harder on me than anything I could imagine. And that's the case for so many others besides me. For that reason alone, trans people deserve something vital. They deserve your respect. I'm wondering how many dudes is trying to get at him. I'm serious. And from that, and from that respect comes a more compassionate community, a more empathetic society, and a better world for all of us. So the interview on Vlad. There have been so many TV. who have traveled this road before me, from his sports to Brian Richards, Pumper. to Chaz Bono, to Laverne. And he Thomas. said like only. And many Straight others, men are attracted and Marcus, where there is tonight. to And I want to thank them all publicly, as well as the SPs and the late Arthur Ashe and his family I don't know if that's for true giving not, me this platform to start to this next phase but... of my journey. I also want to acknowledge all the young trans athletes who are out there, given the chance to play sports as is that MMA they fighter? Really are. And now... And now, as of this week, it appears that trans people will soon be serving in the military. That's a great idea. We have come a long way, but we have a lot of work to do. I'd like to thank, personally, my buddy Diane Sawyer. You know, Diane, I'll miss you. You can only already. tell your story the first time once, and Diane, you did it so authentically and so gracefully. And uh, me and the community is so thankful for that. And I thank you so much, Dan. I'm so proud to have you as a friend. <sighs> Here comes the tough part. I'd like to thank my family. Now, the biggest fear I've always had in coming out is I never wanted to hurt anyone else. Most of all, Mm, he's messed up. My family and my kids. I always wanted my children to be so proud of their dad, for what he was able to accomplish in his life. You guys have given so much back to me. You give me so much support. I am so, so grateful to have all of you in my life. Thank you.
and certainly last but not least, my mother. My mom, uh, who just a little over a week, a little over a week ago, um, had to have surgery and didn't think she was going to make it. And but she is here with me tonight to share this night. Now. You know, I always thought that I got my courage and my determination from my dad, who landed on Omaha Beach, fought all the way through World War II. But you know what I'm realizing now, Mom? I think I got all those qualities from you. Love you very much. I'm so glad you're here to just share this with me. You know, it is an honor to have the word courage associated with my life. But on this night, another word comes to mind, and that is fortunate. I owe a lot to sports. It's showed me the world. It's giving me an identity. If someone wanted to bully me, well, you know what? I was the MVP of the football team. That just wasn't going to be a problem. And the same thing goes tonight. If you want to call me names, make jokes, doubt my intentions, go ahead. Because the reality is, I can take it. But for the thousands of kids out there coming to terms with being true to who they are, they shouldn't have to take it. So for the people out there wondering what this is all about, whether it's about courage or controversy or publicity, well, I'll tell you what it's all about. It's about what happens from here. It's not just about one person. It's about thousands of people. It's not just about me. It's about all of us accepting one another. We're all different. That's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. And while it may not be easy to get past the things you always don't understand, I want to prove that it is absolutely possible if we only do it together. Thank you so much for this platform. Thank you so much for this honor bestowed on myself and my family. Thank you. It'd be funny if Kanye jumped up there. Hold on, Caitlin, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> but Beyonce had one of the greatest videos of all time. <laughs> all right, so. I don't know what to say. This isn't a subject that I immerse myself in. This isn't something that I run into every day. But this is something that I've, in a way, dealt with firsthand in my own life. And all I can say is I don't understand it fully. And I actually remember uh, the person who knows the person that was have, going through a transition said to me that they spoke to their gay friend about it. And their gay friend was basically like, don't ask me. They're as strange to us as we are to you. And I thought that was very interesting that he said that because you, we tend to lump them together lesbian gay LGB was it a lesbian gay trans, bisexual and transgender right we tend to lump them all together but maybe they're really different from you know and I don't know I was just that was like an eye opener for me. I was like, really? So he doesn't understand it. And to me, I would think, and you know, I don't know everything. You would think, as a straight person, you're like, well, this gay guy, he acts rather feminine. So maybe he understands why this guy wants to be a woman. But he don't get it. He may act feminine, but he wants to be a man. He wants to keep his penis. He does not want to grow breasts. He doesn't want to be a woman. 
it's just like, wow, man. So this probably isn't something that I could, I'm not even really, I mean, as a human, as a person, as American, I'm qualified to give my opinion, but I'm not really qualified to really speak in depth on this because it's just like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not an expert on it. Like I see his speech was truly heartfelt. He felt for his family. He didn't want to hurt anybody. This is apparently something he felt really strong about, knowing that he would be ridiculed and stuff like that. I know a lot of gay people, they always say, you know, well, if it's such a choice, why would we choose the hard road? Why would we choose to be ridiculed all our lives and be hurt and possibly be killed, beat up, murdered, all these other things, tormented for a choice? to go the whole, you know, that way so anyway you can all post your comments below if it gets too crazy I'm just going to turn off the comments like I did with a couple other videos because some of y'all just fucking ridiculous like when I did the reaction to the to twin gay brothers that came out to their dad y'all lost y'all minds on that damn video I'm just like man you know it's sometimes I think the discrimination Again, <laughs> I ain't, don't quote me on this, but the way the comments look in my videos, I'm like, damn, I think the discrimination and hatred for gays, lesbians, bisexual, transgender is worse than the hatred and discrimination against blacks. I'm like, damn, like the first videos I think that I had to turn off the comments was stuff on uh, the subject of, you know, gay people. I was like, wow, I'm like, these people are losing their fucking minds. Like, I mean, I've done, you know, interracial dating videos and, you know, I've gotten some bullshit and, you know, had to block people, but it wasn't as bad as the fighting. And I'm just like, whoa, like, really, y'all? So, um, actually, you'll know some, a lot of my interracial videos and any videos that have to do with race now, I've turned the comments off on them too. So, because uh, I'm not dealing with the dumb shit, you know. I'm gonna say my piece and then I'll move on. So, post comments down below. Let me know what you think of the whole thing. And uh, what'd you think about him keeping his regular voice? That threw me off. Post the comments below down there too, because every, like I said, every transgender I've ever heard speak, even the women. Well, the women are taking roids. You know, and stuff. So, you know, they're changing their male hormones to change their voice. So, you know, they'll, you know, they talk like a man, but, or close to it, or a woman that smokes heavily. You know what I mean? Like, they have that type of voice. But he got up there, it was like me wearing a wig. Like, what's happening? Thank you for the war. You know what I mean? I was like, wow. So, post comments down below and know what you think. One million subscribers. Woo!